Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fan Frickin' Tasha. In the last episode, we actually completed up this whole dungeon in like 5 minutes. Yeah, believe it or not, this, or this place is actually very easy if you know what to do. Now, we reached this final switch, or lever, or what the heck you like to call it, in this, in the last episode, and we didn't pull it. Well, because that's going to trigger a boss battle, if you didn't guess that already, because there's nothing else to do in this dungeon right now, so, and, well, there wouldn't be anything else to do than send a boss at us now, so, just prepare to find Undine, and when you're ready, pull the switch. There's a lever here. Pull it? Yeah. Now, real quick explanation of what I'm going to do. Uh, you know what I've said? Uh, really been complaining about the GBA version of fighting of the spirit music so once again I'm going to replace it the music but once again not well what am I saying <laughs> this time I'm not going to replace it with the PS1 version but rather with the SNES version because that's really well that's really a good one too so prepare to find Dean. who is it who dares disturb my sleep You. you! Play music. So, this, fi this fight, uh, uh, you're probably going to want to turn off every skill that Klaus and Archie has. That are not fire. Well, uh, what am I saying? I don't know. I can't keep track of what I'm saying today for some reason. Now, you're going to want to turn off practically Everything but Eruption and Thunderblade for Archie. Uh, let me see here. And then everything for Klaus. Oh, well, there's not really a lot of to turn off. Just turn off Gnome and Sill. So he can summon Efreet. Because, uh, believe it or not, Undine actually has two weaknesses, which are Fire and Thunder. Youch, that's going to burn. Now this is what they really... What the heck? She can cast this fast? Yikes. This could be quite painful if it continues at this rate. Uh, come on. Ow. Well, at least I got to distract her. We can clearly state that Undine is a woman. Uh, that's why I said her. Now you know that. The more you know. Uh, uh, someone needs to heal me. Mouse, you do this, and I just need to corner on Dean so she can't do shit. Uh, because when she does shit, I die. And we don't like, we don't want that. At least I don't want that, anyways. Uh, Nurkle gel, probably. I don't see why not. Yeah, I just keep on Dean off while they go spell casting on the squid. Preferably on Dean, but whatever. If you get rid of the squid, you're pretty much set to get rid of Undine, because the squid is pre squid is pretty much the biggest problem for this fight. Well, now that big problem is gone, because the squid is going to be really a great nuisance uh, to you. So, once the squid is gone, just hammer away on Undine, and she will eventually go down. There you go. Now Undine is toast. Now we shall feast. Now we shall feed. Uh, uh, how does that thing go again? The the Spartan thing. Ah, whatever. Forgive me. What is what your, is your wish? wish? I'd like to form a pact with you. Very well. Bring out the Aquamarine ring. I beseech you, Great Water Spirit. Submit to me as decreed by the covenant of this ring. My name is Klaus. F. Lester. Uh, that was Undine. Klaus can now summon freaking Undine. Oh yeah! So now we got the three remaining... Oh, just excuse me for a second here. There's a lever here, pull it, so the water goes down. 
yeah. So now we have the three spirits, so remember what we actually needed to do, because I hardly do. Uh, something about morally a mine shaft. So I suppose I will be seeing you there because there's no point in watching me going out a dungeon just to encounter even more enemies, which is just annoying. Not just annoying for me, but maybe annoying to watch as well because that would just be, not be really fun. And I suppose I'm out already, so that doesn't really matter. No, I'm not out already. Okay, then let's just, go, just continue going up here. Continue going here. Okay, that way is closed. Why is there no more enemies here? I do not know. Now I'm back here in. Uh, well, not in, outside, Alvinista, just in case you've forgotten where you're supposed to go. So I'll show you the way. Even though I can hardly remember it myself, let's just hope for the best. Shall we not? Uh, the, um, although I think I have a slight idea of where I'm supposed to go. And this looks quite familiar. Have I been here? Uh, yeah, this is the place with the uh, swordsman here who can have the- what? Uh, wait, Paradox? Oh, right, uh, just ignore this ever happened. This never happened, okay? Th this didn't happen, okay? It didn't. I already have that skill. I didn't get it right now. Just ignore that it ever happened, because I didn't get anything, okay? Let's just ignore that. Don't, en don't enter here. Let's just head back. Pretend this never happened. Now, you can really look forward to morally a mineshaft, let me tell you why. There's ten frickin' floors, the enemy encounters are gigantic. Well, and that's pretty much all you need to have a horrible, horrible experience of a dungeon. Okay. Now, he, right here, this guy right here, is going to say, Hey, you there, you can't go in there without other authorization! We have been given permission by the King of Alvinista. We have his royal warrant. Oh, my most humble apologies! Please go on through! Uh, b b Oh boy, am I looking forward to this. Looking forward to finishing it, that is. Thank God for holy balls, though. Okay. First thing, head straight north, go left, find a switch on the north wall. Which is supposed to be right here. There you see. Uh, now. Let's just continue going to the right now. Now we are here. That's the door that got open when you push that lever. So, let's carry on. Tomorrow, I'm on to level 2. Push the switch and the door opens. It's easy as that. And here we have a lavender. And here we have stairs to level three. Uh, yeah. Now let me check here. I I sort of got to. Ugh, crap. No, I don't have to sort of. Oh crap. <laughs> I just sort of have to make a little map of this area in my mind here, so I can remember it. You know, if I could store some more, if I get some, could get some more memory to my brain, but that's crappy already, so whatever. Now, statue person, switch. There's a lever here, pull it, and guess what that does? It opens a secret pet. No, it doesn't. It does not open a secret passage. It's not secret at all, because you just saw it, like, one minute ago. So... Wouldn't really call that all so oh, so secret, eh? Oh boy, I can't wait. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I really can't wait till I'm finished with this place. Uh, this place is just a giant pain in the buttocks. In the buttocks. Uh, now that off switch there. Well, you'll see what that's useful for later. Currently, you can't step. Well, you can't go through there because, well, unless you were floating. Intent, wink, wink. Uh, so we have to spare that door for later. Giant bats and cavemen, you can go screw yourself in a very dangerous fire. That would be most placeable for the sponsors. Oh wait, it's up, up. Okay, now you're floating. Now you're floating, and don't even dare touch that crap. Don't even dare touch that crap. <laughs> oh my goodness. So horrible. 
Don't even dare try to get up those stairs, but don't even tr dare try to touch that off thing over there, because that means that you're... You see, when you touch an off switch, you go back to, well, not floating. Like, every person actually should. Ah, cavemen and giant bats. A worthy opponent indeed. Okay then. We're on the third floor. Think positive here. Oh hello there, we actually got to open something. Isn't that cool? Uh now that is open, we can go down to the fourth level. Now this is where things could start to get a bit tricky. Torch is not only one that's not lit. Shit. That rhymed. I'm a poet and don't I know it. Now, let's think back to the Cave of Burning Sand, shall we? Sorcerer's Ring. What? I really haven't unequipped that yet. Oh well. I suppose that was for the better, eh? Okay then. Excuse me if I could push the... Eh. You'd think that would work if you played Tales of Symphonia, but no it doesn't. I ought to un unequip that freaking ring there. Not really good for much, if good for anything, that is. Uh, fire and earth damage, that could actually be very useful in the upcoming uh, spirit boss battle. Yeah, we're gonna get another spirit soon, it's incredible. It's incredulously incredible. You know, a resist ring, gra what? That makes us very impervious to tractor beam. Yeah, but there we- uh, I could use that, or I could use this. Uh, I suppose that would be more useful at the moment. Uh, so you're not supposed to even touch that thing yet. You see, huh? This torch looks like a lever, yes. What am I saying? Not supposed to touch it? Of course you're supposed to touch it. You're supposed to open the door with this. You know what, before I get even more drunk, I think I'm just going to quit off this episode here. I'm gonna go play some Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Telling you that game is like crack. Once you start playing it, you can't stop. I played four hours non-stop yesterday, and I still wanted to play more, which I think says something. So I recommend that game at the highest. Well, if you like strategy RPGs or anything near that genre. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe the, or rate this video. Whatever. Whatever you feel like. Thanks for watching and goodbye.